Ever had that moment when you yawn, and then your dog yawns, and then your cat, and suddenly your entire family's yawning like it's some weird sleepy cult? Well, get ready, because today we're diving headfirst into the mystery of yawning. Why do we do it? Is it oxygen, boredom, brain cooling, or is it a government conspiracy? Spoiler, it's not. But the truth is stranger than fiction. Yawning, the involuntary show-off. Let's start with the basics. Yawning is involuntary. That means we don't choose to do it. It just happens. Like your weird Uncle Bob dancing at weddings. You feel a little sleepy. Your jaw stretches like it's auditioning for a horror movie. And voila, a big, beautiful yawn. Sometimes it's loud. Sometimes it's silent. But it always makes the person next to you yawn too. Seriously. Even talking about yawning can trigger a yawn. You're yawning right now, aren't you? Gotcha. The classic myth, it's just about oxygen. Or is it? The oldest explanation in the book is this. We yawn because our brain needs more oxygen. Cute theory, old, dusty, still hanging around in biology textbooks from 1978. But modern science is like, eh, not so fast. Studies have shown that changing the oxygen or carbon dioxide levels in the air doesn't really affect yawning much. So, if you're yawning in a crowded room, it's not because someone stole your oxygen, it's probably because your brain is tired of Karen's story about her gluten-free cat. What actually is yawning? Uh, one of the newer theories is, wait for it, that yawning is air conditioning for your brain. No, really! Like a tiny little breeze blowing over your frontal lobe. When your brain starts heating up from thinking too hard, maybe you've been doing taxes, watching a plot twist in a Christopher Nolan film, or just trying to remember where you left your keys, your body says, whoa there, Let's cool this CPU down, and BAM, you yawn, deep breath in, big jaw stretch, cool air in, and your brain chills out. Basically, your head turns into a nerdy computer that overheats during Minecraft. The contagious part, why seeing someone yawn makes you yawn. Okay, here's where yawning goes from weird to straight up supernatural. Contagious yawning. You're watching a video. Someone yawns, suddenly you feel it creeping in, your mouth opens wide, eyes water like a Netflix drama, and there you are, yawned again. But why? Well, scientists think it might be linked to empathy. Yeah, empathy, you know that thing where you feel stuff because someone else feels stuff? Turns out, humans and even some animals like chimps and dogs are more likely to catch a yawn from someone they know. It's like the world's laziest group hug. Why babies don't catch yawns and psychopaths don't either? These are the fun fact. Babies don't catch yawns until around four or five years old. Why? Because empathy takes time to develop. Before that, they're just yawning for themselves, like tiny selfish sleep goblins. And here's the spooky part. People who score high on psychopathy tests are less likely to catch yawns. So if someone never yawns when you yawn, keep an eye on them, or at least don't give them access to your secret chocolate stash burning in the wild. Animals do it too. Humans aren't the only yawny champions. Lions yawn, dogs yawn, snakes yawn, even fish yawn. Yeah, you heard me. Fish. Which begs the question, what is a fish trying to say when it yawns? Wow, swimming in circles is exhausting. In the animal kingdom, yawning isn't just about sleepiness. For some creatures, it's a social cue, a way to say, hey, I'm tired, but I'm still here. Please don't eat me. Or in the case of chimpanzees, I'm one yawn away from throwing this banana. Yawning experiments gone wild. Scientists have actually run yawning experiments, and you better believe they're as awkward as they sound. Imagine being paid to sit in a room and stare at videos of people yawning while a researcher watches you intensely, writing in a notepad like, subject resisted yawn for 12 seconds, then failed. Tragic. There are even experiments where people were told not to yawn after seeing someone else do it. But guess what happened? They yawned harder than ever. That's right, telling someone not to yawn is like telling someone not to scratch an itch on their nose. It only makes it 1,000 times worse. You're trying not to yawn right now, aren't you? Do we yawn when we're bored? Let's talk about the boredom connection. People often assume yawning means you're bored. And hey, sometimes it does. Like during a three-hour PowerPoint presentation titled Q3 Revenue Projections, a spreadsheet odyssey, you're not just yawning, you're desperately trying to escape your body. But yawning can also happen when you're stressed, anxious, or even transitioning between states of alertness. So don't take it personally if someone yawns while you're talking. 
they might just be overheating. Or, secretly, a fish. Can we stop yawning? Nope. Here's the kicker. You can't actually stop a yawn. Sure, you can stifle it, clench your jaw, or try to swallow it back like a sneeze in church. But once that yawn is coming, it's going to happen. And the weirdest part, even thinking about yawning can trigger it, which means writing this script made me yawn 17 times. I'm basically yawning while yawning at this point. It's yawnception. So let's wrap this up, preferably before we all fall asleep from our own yawns. Why do we yawn? To regulate brain temperature as a social bonding tool because someone else yawned because your brain is bored tired or maybe just messing with you for fun yawning is one of those weird little things that unites us all young old human dog fish psychopath tax accountant it's a universal reminder that sometimes your body just needs a break or a nap so the next time you yawn don't fight it stretch it out feel proud you're basically giving your brain a refreshing breeze and maybe showing someone you care, or at least that you stayed awake through this whole video. Now, if you yawned at least once during this video, you owe us a like and a subscribe. It's the law. Okay, it's not, but we'd really appreciate it. See you next time, hopefully well-rested and yawn-free.